Hello everyone. We will continue the topic database operations and in the previous videos. So far, we finished insert and delete database operation. Now we will move on to update database operation. We all know very well update is used to update the values of the existing records. Suppose I'm running the program. You will firstly understand what we will cover as a part of update database operation. Now, suppose user will give the order number. If user is giving the wrong order number, we need to give a message to the user. Yes, please pass the correct order number. Because if order number is not in the table, how we can update the details of that order number? Suppose if I will go to SC11 transaction code and I will go to order header table. Now to update the details of a particular order number, order number must be in the table. So if user is passing a wrong order number, we will give the message to the user that please pass the correct order number. Now the second most, most important thing, we can only, only update the values of non-key column. We can only update the values of non-primary key column. Suppose if we are passing a order number 10, suppose, so for the order number 10, I can change order date. I can change payment mode. I can change total amount. I can change currency, but it is never, never possible that I can change the order number from 10 to 20. Primary key is never, never change of primary key is never possible. Suppose simple, a employee join the organization. So once the employee ID is generated throughout the career, employee ID will never, never change. We can update first name, last name. We can change the other things, but employee ID will never, never change. Same thing is applicable here. We can change non-primary key columns for a particular order number. We cannot update the order number because it is a primary key of the table itself. So what we will do? If user is passing a wrong order number, yes, we will give a message to the user that please pass the correct order number. If user is giving the correct order number, we will simply, simply display order date, payment mode, total amount and currency for that order number and user can change. And whenever user will click on to execute button, we will update into database table. So we will do two parts of the requirement, two parts of the requirement. If user is giving a wrong order number, we will give a message to the user. If user is giving the right order number, we will display what is the order date, payment mode, total amount and currency for that order number. Then whatever user want to change, user can change. And whenever user will click on to execute button, the changes will reflect into the database statement. So firstly, we will start with the validation part, validation part. We all know whenever we want to validate, we can always, always validate the input using at selection screen event. So we will write the logic as a part of at selection screen event. Now, what is the radio button for the update? P underscore R3 is equal to capital X. 
for every if there is a and if. Now we have already written the logic to validate as a part of delete database operation. To delete also the order number must be in the table. For update also, yes, order number must be in the table. So can we use same to same logic? Yes, we will use same to same logic. We are selecting the single order number from the database table. And yes, if size of RC is not equal to zero, we are giving the message that please pass the correct order number. Because in case of delete and update, yes, order number should be in the database table. And we have written the logic as a part of delete. Same logic we pasted for update also. Suppose if I'm running and I'm giving a wrong order number, suppose I'm giving 15, Whenever you will update, we already assign the function code to the radio buttons. Yes, to the radio button or which belongs to that radio button group. So whenever I will choose this, we are performing action. So which event will call add selection screen. And you can see we got the message order number 15 it does not exist. Now we will move on to next part of the requirement. What is next part of the requirement? If I will pass a correct order number, if I will pass a correct order number, I need to display order date, payment mode, total amount and currency for that order number. User will change whatever the user want to update. Whenever user will click on to execute button, it will update into database table. So what is second part of the requirement? If user is passing a correct order number, we need to bind the order date, payment mode and total amount and currency for that order number. If user is passing a correct order number, it means size sub RC will be zero. Yes, size sub RC will be zero. So can we write a logic in else part? Yes, we will write a logic in else part. Now we will fetch that data. We need to fetch the data of how many column, order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. If I want to fetch the data of four columns, it means I need to firstly create a structure of four column. Yes, I will create a structure of four column. So I will simply, simply go for types statement. Types. Begin of, suppose I am saying LTY underscore Suppose we will go for display. What is first column? Order date. Type data element of order date. I'll copy from database table itself. Order date. Type data element of order date. Then we have payment mode. Type data element of payment. Now I will write total amount. Type data element of total amount. Now I will write currency. Type data element of currency. I will end this particular structure. Now, is there any need for the internal table? No. We, if we will, what we will do, if you want internal table, okay. But we all know whenever we are passing order number, always, always single record will come. 
So whenever we will write the query using select single, we can directly put into work area. If you want to go for internal table, no problem. But in this case, yes, we can write the query in select single way. So whenever we will go for select single, we will directly put into work area. So I will simply declare the work area. Data LWA underscore display. Type, I will pass the name of the structure which I created. Now, what we will do, we will write a query. We will write a query in the third part, update radio button. Now we all know single record is coming. So what I will write, select single. What do you want to fetch? Order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. From which particular table? Order header table. Now we will store into internal table. Sorry, work area because single record. So we'll directly put work area. Now we will give the fair condition. Order number is equal to P underscore order number. So if user is passing the correct order number, size sub RC will be zero. And if size sub RC will be zero, system will go to else part. It will fetch the data of these four columns. And data will come into which particular work area? LWA underscore display. Now in LWA display, suppose, if I'm giving the order number 10, suppose, I have given the order number 10. So in LWA display, this is the date, this is the payment mode, this is the total amount, this is the currency. Now we need to bind, we need to bind with this order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. Now we need to bind whatever is in work area, we need to bind with order date, payment mode, total amount and currency parameters. Now you all know very, very well, yes. Now, if you will give a right input, it will fetch data from the table and data will come into this work area. We all know after that, which event will call at selection screen output because this event calls every time before displaying the selection screen or input screen. So whatever is coming into work area, we will simply, simply bind with the selection screen parameters. So how I will write the logic? If fourth radio button is capital, sorry, third radio button is capital X, So we will simply, simply, whatever is in work area, we will pass it to parameters. So what is first parameter? P underscore O date. It is from work area. LWA display O date. Then we have payment mode, total amount, currency. We all know. Values always pass from right to left, right to left. Order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. Now we will give P underscore, this is payment mode. total amount and then we have currency.
will check the syntax and activate. Now I will run and show you the output. Suppose firstly, I'm going for wrong order number. I'm choosing update. We got the message. I'm going for right order number. Suppose I'm pressing enter. Now you can see we got that details. Yes. Now when we pressed enter, yes, add selection screen called. Then after that, add selection screen output called because it called every time before displaying this selection screen or input screen. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started with update database operation. And in this database operation, we took two parts of the requirement. Firstly, we will validate input is right or wrong. And we have written the logic in the add selection screen event. If the order number is wrong, we will require the message that order number is incorrect. If the order number is correct, we fetched data from the database table and we binded with the parameters of the selection screen. And we have written the logic in add selection screen output because we all know that event calls every time before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Now, in the next video, we will write the logic to update the record into the database table. Suppose customer is changing any of the value and whenever customer will click on to execute button, we will update the value of that column for that particular record into the database table. So that's it in this video. Thank you.